Hey everybody, welcome back to the Highland Fox. This week we're talking about Hungry and the Honey Badger. Daniel Ricardo is back. Yeah. Kind of sucks though, a little bit, because like I really liked DeVries. I thought he deserved more time, but in typical Red Bull fashion, they gave a rookie eight eight races and they were like, nah. Yeah. So, so yeah, I, I think like even only one season, that's really it's really tough to get your bearings. So I don't know. Eight races, I don't think it's fair at all. No. But I do like Danny Rick, so it's like so tough for yeah. me because I love him. So it's awesome to see his name. I think F one's just better with him in it, but I think DeVries deserved a lot better. And he gets to race in Vegas now. I know that was. So I am excited for him yeah, to race in Vegas. That was but... like his dream. Yeah, he so, said it like 2017. Yeah, so I'll love to see those uh, videos yeah. leading up and then the after party. Yeah. So, exciting for Ricardo. He ended up finishing 13th today, so not terrible considering Mm -hmm. he hasn't raced in almost a year. Yeah. Abu Dhabi last Last year, year. but we'll see how he does. Um, He is in the worst car on the grid, which again, isn't great for Ricardo, but also proves more that DeVries probably got another, should have gotten more of a chance. Yeah, Alpha Tori is the um, last constructor on the grid. Um, Behind Williams and Haas. Like, (laughs) get out of here, man. So, we'll we'll see what he can do in that car, but... Um, he. How crazy is that polar opposite? Red Bull's winning by like a million and a half points, and then their their absolute team, their yeah, minor team, yeah, is, is last by like a million points. Well, I think that's why Helmet Marco was like, mm, yeah, no, we're gonna make some changes, that's even true. even if you agree, disagree, whatever. I think to him, it's like, oh, this is unacceptable. Yeah. So that's that. <laughs> yeah, that dude was cold blooded, but it must work because Red Bull just set the. Spoiler alert, Max Verstappen won. Um, <laughs> you guys knew that. <laughs> if you're watching this video, Max Verstappen probably won. We're just going to say that for the rest of this time. Um, won by 33 seconds, which is just insane. Yeah. Um, he, is, he is playing a different sport. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he is. Uh, they just set the F1 record for most constructor wins in a row, beating McLaren's 11. So Red Bull now has 12. And really, Russell's Brazil win at the end of 2021, or 2022, I'm sorry. Yeah. Is the only thing stopping them from a 24 win streak? 20, yeah. 24 win streak. So they've won, Lecle- uh, Leclerc won in Austria in 22. And then, then Red Bulls won the rest of them until now, except for that one Russell. So, yeah, and even when Max doesn't win, it's obviously Perez, and then Max is second. So, yeah. like he would have. Max is Red still Bull is there. <laughs> if Perez literally disappeared, Max is still leading the constructors' title. Yes. Him alone. Yeah. So Red Bull is literally in a completely different So. Sport. Yeah, it's it's amazing to watch. I'm sure some people are like, "Oh, it's so boring," but it's just it's weird. It's it's the, it is. what it's like magic. It is because it's really crazy. Like when you think about it, if you take out Red Bull completely, and I know we're playing all these hypothetical games because there's really nothing else to talk about <laughs> at the top. But if you took them out completely, this would probably be one of the best seasons we've seen in a really long time because, because you have those top midfield teams yeah. are pretty close and they they're they're racing beautifully, right? So, and like McL- McLaren came out of nowhere. Came out of nowhere. And they're, I don't know, they're going to hope maybe podium every. Yeah, they're up there. Like. Aston can podium. You know, Mercedes can definitely podium mm-hmm. all the time. They Russell went from 18th to 5th. Yeah. You know, like they're in there. Uh, you have McLaren now who can podium. Ferrari, if they ever can figure out their strategies or their tires. No, okay, maybe not Ferrari. But. <laughs> But yeah, if if Red Bull, you don't count them. Like otherwise, it's a pretty fun race. Yeah. Um, but congratulations, Red Bull. Yeah, great streak. So, um, if you all remember Hungary 2021, it was raining, and Bottas decided he wanted to go bowling instead of racing in Formula One, and he took out well, not just him, but he. Took out, I think, Perez. I think Perez. And then hit a ton of other cars. Yeah. So now it's called Bodice Bowling. Right. Today. His teammate. <laughs> Zhao. He started P5. So good. And then now for Romeo. Oh my goodness. I don't know what happened. He just didn't start. He stalled. Yeah. Stalled. <laughs> fell back. Ended up getting hit by Danny Rick, who... No, could, Zhao hit, Zhao Danny, hit Rick. Danny Rick. Yeah. And then he hit Ocon, Ocon who then hit uh, Gasly. Yeah. So it was just a wreck. <laughs> um, both Alpines ended up 
DNFing, like not didn't even finish that first that corner. Yeah, they didn't finish the first corner. Yeah. So uh, the second race in a row where both Alpines didn't finish, Ocon got hit so hard that his seat came undone. It, it broke. literally broke in half. Um, which is and really hard to do. Just what a shame for Zhao. And then that hurt Danny Rick. He fell to the back. So yeah. I don't know what it is about hungry in that first start in that co- corner. This like, was even dry. I know. It was just, oh, yeah. that was like the worst start ever. Yeah, for all of his efforts, he got a five second time penalty. Yeah. So it was just so, so rotten. Yeah. And which, honestly, the craziest part about that bit is there was still no safety car. So. Definitely check me down in the comments, but I think there's more no safety cars this season than there has been in the entire history of F1. Like, this is just yeah. nuts. There's no grid penalties. There's no safety cars. It's just, which is great for safety, right? Yeah. We don't want people and getting like, hurt. And I guess efficiency, too. If you yeah. can get, if like the cars are solid enough to be able to get off, because who, uh, was it Gasly who went back to the pit with like no tire and yeah. the back, the wing was like, wow. yeah. So like, it, it's great. It's just crazy. Crazy. It's just nuts. It's just I've never seen anything like this. So I mean that added a little spice to the beginning of the race. Yeah. And um, speaking of broken bits and spice during a race, Norris gets a second place. So super exciting for McLaren. And in his excitement, he's shaking the <laughs> champagne bottle and he slams it on the podium. And Max Verstappen's first place trophy falls over and shatters. So Norris is spraying Verstappen while he's like. <laughs> like because he just broke his first place trophy and Verstappen comes over just laughing oh my gosh. and they're like little kids just going Tee! I just feel like it's I don't know it, it's always I, Norris yeah I feel like anyone else should be like what and then Norris you're like oh, oh Norris oh Lando oh Lando so so does he have worse luck or does Leclerc have worse luck I don't know because I, I do think about that a lot because I'm like I can't believe Norris doesn't have a win that's nuts like and he does have a lot of bad luck but Leclerc is like, he doesn't, he has bad luck and then his strategy team like makes him lose with style. So it's like you have bad luck and then your team also hates you. Yeah. They don't actually hate him, but you, you get it. You know, mm. you, you watch, you know. <laughs> so like they both have the bad luck gene. Leclerc was just, somebody evil in his past life. Yeah. He had to be, man. And just, yeah, he just, got a five second um, penalty today for speeding in the... Um, pit lane after a 10 second pit stop after a bad 10 second pit stop yeah so just rotten luck for him today um he's the he's literally that walking meme of uh money doesn't money absolutely buys happiness you've never seen a sad person in a ferrari and, just, and you just see leclerc, leclerc. <laughs> <laughs> that's so sad yeah it's pretty funny um other things though uh hungary got extended so we're gonna be racing here until 2032 so that's exciting mm-hmm. um it's not a lot of passing, but I always think this is a fun track. It's like a go-karting track. Yeah. I, I think there's definitely more, pa- obviously, more passing this season than last year. Yeah, that's true. Um, so, I like this track. I think it's yeah. fun. Um, it made the tire degradation strategy interesting. That was... Everyone's so, pitting at different times, which is really cool. So, that added excitement. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, I know you mentioned it before, but I just want to say Russell going from 18th to yeah. 5th. Did great. Um, I know Hamilton, kind of a bad start. Bad start. Started in P1. Didn't finish that way. Um, but I think Russell had a pretty good race. Yeah. I think he had a great race. So yeah, He definitely did. Uh, let us know what you guys thought of the race. Um, when you think Red Bull is going to get their first second, maybe? Just not win a race? Um, is it going to be this season? Maybe even next season? Or maybe when we're all dead? <laughs> We'll have to see. But we'll see you guys next week for Spa. Yay! And it's a sprint weekend. Oh, it is a sprint weekend. Yeah, for Spa. Oh, that's a weird place to do it. I know, but it's my favorite race, so. Yeah, we'll have to see how that sprint goes. All right, see you guys.